Hi everyone, I'm Carol and I'm a software engineer at Buoyant, working on the open source service mesh project Linkerd and the application Dive. When I first proposed this talk to share lessons that Buoyant had learned in the process of internationalizing Linkerd, specifically our web dashboard, the world was in a much different place. This talk is still going to leave you with a roadmap to follow if you are considering internationalizing your cloud native project. But first, let's zoom out a bit and talk about why internationalization of your project is even more urgent today than it was six months ago. As the entire world battles the coronavirus pandemic, users around the globe are using cloud native technologies to fight COVID-19. This photo was taken just a few days ago from Texas grocery chain HEB, who needed to quickly scale their curbside and home delivery to handle exponential demand. They did it with cloud native technologies, including Linkerd. Cloud native technology is also being used to help public health authorities battle COVID-19. And the epidemic has also changed work. Many of you, including me, are lucky enough to be able to work remotely. My company, Buoyant, has shifted to being wholly remote first. With all of these people around the world relying on cloud native tech, users are increasingly hailing from different locales with different native languages. This graph is from last year's CNCF survey and the trend to continues to be more global. So we need to make our products accessible to people from all nations and cultures especially at such a time in our history. On a project level, internationalization is a great way to empower your open source contributors. Here's an issue that one of our community members filed earlier this year in the Linkerd website repo. Frequently, translating the docs is a great way to learn about an open source project and to introduce new contributors to your code base. So first, some terminology. Internationalization is the process of architecting your application so it can be quickly and easily adapted to various languages and regions around the world. It is sometimes called globalization. When we use the word internationalization, we are typically referring to the overall process and design portion of making your app inclusive. The term localization typically refers to the more specific translations words, numbers, and formatting that you would include for each language or locale. As cloud native projects, the complexity of translating Kubernetes concepts and vocabulary may seem very overwhelming, but I have great news for you. The Kubernetes documentation has done most of the work already. You don't have to start with a blank slate. There are many languages that are already represented in the Kubernetes docs with a thriving community of translators. At Linkerd, since we first wanted to start our internationalization journey with the web dashboard, we took advantage of the Kubernetes dashboard repo, first to investigate how such a huge project with so many contributors added Kubernetes specific translations, and then for the translations themselves, much of the vocabulary was shared across the dashboards. Less formally, the Kubernetes Slack is a great place to look. There is a constant hum of translators, discussions, and PRs being made as the vocabulary of Kubernetes continues to change and evolve. You can look for channels that start with Kubernetes hyphen docs and pop in and out to see conversations and updates almost every single day. With the help of the resources from the Kubernetes community, we now have a scaffolding for an internationalized web dashboard for Linkerd, PRs and feedback welcome. Our goal is to have a more inclusive Kubernetes service mesh experience as our growing user base uses our technology to build innovative, reliable, and secure software. Thank you so much for coming to this lightning talk. Please connect with us on GitHub, Slack, or Twitter, whether you'd like to contribute to Linkerd's internationalization or you're embarking on it for your own cloud native project, we'd love to connect with you. Thank you so much.